Good morning and welcome to St Peter's Denomere. Our service of communion for Trinity Sunday is taken from the Northumbrian community and is based on the story of St Brendan. Brendan made a physical journey out of the vast wilderness of the ocean with a small boat and a simple prayer. Christ of the mysteries, can I trust you on the sea? As Brendan and his companions battled with wave and tide, answering their call to risky living, Brendan explored a deep and challenging inner journey and discovered a profound truth. No matter how foreign a place or situation was, he was always at home because he had his home in Christ. As we share bread and wine together, may we know something more of this home that we share. And we sing our first hymn, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. we say together those words in bold. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have come to seek you, O God. Just as we are, we come. We have come to be sought by you. Just as we are, we come. I will wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word do I hope. And we make our confession to God. There is one God and one mediator between heaven and earth, 
the man Jesus Christ, who gave himself as a ransom for all people. Whoever is on the Lord's side, let him join with me, that we may come to the vision of God. Create a clean heart within me, O God, so that it may become your chosen shelter and the resting place of the Holy Spirit. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. I make the sign of Christ upon my breast, and I ask the living God of the universe that the light of lights banish my darkness, so that I may live in the resurrection power of your love. The journey from death to life is ours through Jesus Christ, by the strength, power and mercy of divine love. Wherever our path has taken us in the past, today is a new day in the eyes of the Lord. Let us live in it as children of light. And we declare our faith. Lord, I will trust you. Help me to journey beyond the familiar and into the unknown. Give me the faith to leave old ways and break fresh ground with you. Christ of the mysteries, can I trust you to be stronger than each storm in me? I determine amidst all uncertainty always to trust. I choose to live beyond regret and let you recreate my life. I believe you will make a way for me and provide for me if only I trust you. I will trust in the darkness and know that my times are still in your hand. I will believe you for my future, chapter by chapter, until all the story is written. And now the rain will bring us our first reading. The reading is taken from Romans chapter 12, verses 9 to 16. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honour. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints, extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. This is the word of the Lord. And we sing our gradual hymn, I bind to you myself today.
Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew, beginning at chapter 28, verse 16. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Here endeth the Gospel. And this morning we join St Paul's Helsby as the Reverend Michael Mills brings us a short reflection for this Trinity Sunday. Welcome on this Trinity Sunday to a few words during our family service. But also um, welcoming those from St Paul's, but also apparently I'm speaking to those at St Peter's Delamere as well. So it's um, lovely to share with you this morning. Um, we've been encouraging people to send in their pictures of butterflies um, for our service today. So after my words, you'll see some uh, pictures of butterflies, um, some of them moving, some of them still, some of them being held by children. And the wonder and magic of the butterfly, seen of course quite a lot at this time of year. And uh, during the pictures, I've got a song that's being played and the song is called Peace and it says uh, these words which I'm going to read to you. It says, Peace holds me when I'm broken, sweet peace that passes understanding, when the whole wide world is crashing down, I fall to my knees and breathe in your peace. Take a deep breath and be still and you and know that you are God alone. Peace. It was encouraging us to think at this time about good news. On Trinity Sunday, we remember that we are made in the image of God, each of us precious in his sight. And at the moment it's very easy to get sort of somehow slipped into just hearing bad news. And yet around us, some extraordinary things are happening. It's lovely to see from day to day the miracles of the good things that people share with each other. And sometimes we get caught into this bad news, and yet we are people who have a gospel to tell, a gospel to proclaim, God's peace to his world. I've got a story for you today. And I'm going to tell you, read to you a story about, because it's our family service, uh, a story about a butterfly. Not original, I've not written it, written by somebody else, and I share this with you. Once upon a time there lived a not so colourful butterfly named Sunny. She hadn't started out that way. She began life as a colourful caterpillar, bright pea green and mustard yellow with black spots. She climbed trees with her caterpillar friends with May and June. And Sunny loved climbing and she loved munching on leaves. Right off the rain when they were ripe and juicy. But what she loved more than anything else was to tell stories. Her stories were full of adventure, of pirates and witches and wizards, of brave heroes who fought dragons, and princesses who spoke their minds. And she loved to sit high up in her tree and weave tales to the other caterpillars, spinning a magical story web around them. She told them in sun and shade, and at night by the light of the moon. And her friends loved to listen, but agreed that Sonny was, well, a little strange, or at least different from them. And Sonny and her friends dreamed of the day when they would spin into a chrysalis and begin their transformation into butterflies. 
and Sunny imagined her wings with rainbow colours that would sparkle in the sunlight. And one day, when the first spring buds were forming on the trees, Sunny curled into a candy cane shape, hanging upside down from inside from a small branch, and began to spin her chrysalis. After two long weeks of work, suddenly Sunny popped out in excitement. She imagined how beautiful her rainbow wings must look, and she flew quickly down to a stream not far from her tree and peering into the water at her reflection. No. She stepped back. She couldn't believe her eyes. Staring back at her was a butterfly, dark as night, not with a speck of colour or pattern. This isn't what she'd imagined at all. No, no, th this wouldn't do. What would her friends look like? And what would they say when they saw her? She couldn't bear to find out. She lowered her head and flapping away quickly to hide high up in a tree in the shade of some leaves. If only I could be a caterpillar again, she thought. The sun rose higher and higher in the sky as she sat thinking all day, thinking so hard she didn't even notice when the sun set and May and June perched down on some branches beside her. Wow, what big wings you have, May said. You look like the midnight sky, said June. We've missed your stories. Tell us one, please. Yes, tell us one. Sunny hesitated. Did she really look like the midnight sky? She looked up at the vast, dark blue, purpley black sky above her, dotted with tiny stars. It was beautiful. And Sunny let out a long, slow breath and began. Once upon a time, there was not so colourful a butterfly. And as she spoke, she felt like she had as a caterpillar, breathless, excited, full of adventures and dreams. She smiled. She felt beautiful, just as she was. made in the image of God. We are all made in the image of God. Breathe in God's peace. Take a deep breath and be still and know that you are loved by God and held in that peace. May that peace be with you, sharing good news on this Trinity Sunday. Amen.
So I will not be Cause you always keep me safe in your arms I remember who you are You're the God who's never ever fall So I will not be You always, you always keep me safe You give me peace That holds me when I'm broken Sweet peace That passes understanding When the whole wide world is crashing down I fall And now Rod will lead us in our intercessions. Prayers for Trinity Sunday. Holy, holy, holy God, holy and strong one, holy and mighty one, holy and immortal one, holy three, holy one, be with us now and evermore. Be with us now and evermore. Amen. Holy Father, you have created all things and made us in your own image. We rejoice in the beauty of your creation. We come before you in wonder and awe. We seek to be sensitive to your mysteries. We pray for places where your earth is exploited or marred, where your creatures are abused or misused. We pray for all who lack freedom or are oppressed. Holy God, Holy and strong one, hear our prayer. Christ in glory, risen and ascended, you have redeemed us by your love. You, have, you give us life which is eternal. We pray to you for all who walk in darkness, all who cry out in pain, all who feel beyond hope. <clears throat> give us the strength wisdom and humility to reflect your love in our lives and in our dealings with others, that we may give help and hope to those less fortunate than ourselves. We remember all who are rejected and are outcasts in our world. Holy God, holy and strong one, hear our prayer. Spirit of God, breathing life into all, we give you thanks for our talents and abilities for the powers of renewal and refreshment. We pray that we and all your church may reach out in love. We pray for bishops, priests and deacons, for the ministry of all your faithful people. We pray, we pray for the outreach and mission of your church. Holy God, holy and strong one, hear our prayer. Holy, blessed and glorious Trinity, one in three, three in one. Bind us together in unity. Bind us together in love. Bind us together with loved ones departed. Bind us together with your saints in glory. Holy God, holy and strong one, hear our prayer. That ends the prayers. Angela, I'm assuming you give the peace. Thanks. And we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And we share together in the peace. May the peace of the Father hold you, the peace of Christ encircle you, and the disturbance of the Spirit reveal to you peace in the stranger. My brothers and sisters, the peace of God be with you, and also with you. and praise. Praise be to you, our Father, for your Son, Jesus Christ. He lived and died for love of us, and after rising from the dead, yet more wonderfully met with his disciples. He walked with them, taught them, and shared supper with them. He ascended into heaven, and through the power of the Holy Spirit, he is with us now. Therefore, we join with saints and angels, echoing your praise throughout the world and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Praise and thanks to you, Father in heaven, for on the night 
on which he was betrayed, your son Jesus Christ took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Taking the cup of wine, he said, This is the blood shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Send your Holy Spirit, that the bread which we break and the cup which we bless may be to us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Unite us with him and with all God's people in heaven and on earth. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes again. If you are thirsty, drink the fount of life. If you are hungry, eat the bread of life. Blessed are those who are hungry for the bread and thirst for the fount. And our prayer after communion. Almighty God, from whose love nothing can part us, I thank you for this bread of life, my God. I am a traveller and stranger in the world, like so many of your people before me. I trust it is your voice I hear, the call of the Spirit, the cry of the bird of heaven. I offer you my yes to risky things, the sea takes me wherever I do not know, but I gladly go. Amen. And our final blessing. When you no longer know how to be, may the Father take you on your deeper journey. When you no longer know what to do, may the Spirit reveal to you your fitting task. When all feels lost or foreign, May you know your home in Christ. On the path that is before you, may you have companions for the journey. May you find Christ in the stranger and may you know the love and blessing of God. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now we're going to listen to an Irish blessing that was created for Trinity Sunday.
The Lord met the light of his face, and the goodness of his heart to be brecht upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. وباركك الرب ويحرسك نيك شون بان بوغو سوافي استراجه وسنيو فاسخ بان سير باكا سلومينيز فاتسا لوي بستت في خونكا يهوا فيرمو خم نندا ميل ويرتي ننك سماد كوسي فويني الافيا going peace to love and serve the lord In the name of Christ, Amen. And the blessing of the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Please join us for coffee after the service via Zoom. I look forward to seeing you then. <laughs>